Is the Nash product really maximized ex post? In my game theory class this term, we studied Nash bargaining. It is only now when starting to prepare for the exam that I have come to realize there is something I fundamentally don't understand, and hope that somebody here might be able to help. Smiley face. This is a question highlighting my issue. Enter image description here. The Nash bargaining solution to this is confirmed with the lecturer, the payoff pair, three halves, three halves. This is achieved by player one playing T and player two mixing L and C with one quarter, three quarters probability. The perhaps simplest way to find this solution is to find the midpoint of a tangent to the convex set of possible utilities. Asterisk. My issue is, that I am not convinced that this maximizes the Nash product S underscore 1. S underscore 2. The disagreement pair is 0, 0. If. One assumes that the payoff of player 1 and player 2 vary. Independently. Then the above is indeed the solution because E S underscore 1 equals 1 quarter. 3 plus 3 quarters. 1 equals 3 halves and E S underscore 2 equals 1 quarter. 0 plus 3 quarters. 2 equals 3 halves, which gives E S underscore 1 asterisk S underscore 2 equals 9 quarters, which can be shown to be maximum. However, the payoffs do not vary independently. T L corresponds to Nash product 0 and T C corresponds to 2. Hence the true expected value for the Nash product under this randomization is 1 quarter. 0 plus 3 quarters. 2 equals 3 halves. This is not optimal, as purely playing T, C gives a higher Nash product. Hence, how comes that the Nash bargaining solution isn't actually maximizing the Nash product? Where do I go wrong in my thinking? Very many thanks in advance. Smiley face. The Nash bargaining solution does maximize the Nash product. You have to separate the playing of the game from the bargaining problem. If the players negotiate a binding agreement they will realize that their maximal total payoff from playing the game is $3. This can be achieved by playing $t, $l, $ or $t, $c, $ or any mixture of those two profiles. The bargaining solution just asks, given a total payoff of $3, how will the players divide this payoff among them, given a threat point of $0, $0, $0? So the efficient frontier is a part of the line dollar u underscore 1 plus u underscore 2 equals 3 dollars, and by symmetry or by maximizing the Nash product dollar u underscore 1 3 u underscore 1 dollar, you find dollar u underscore 1 equals u underscore 2 equals 3, 2 dollars. The only remaining question is how to play the game under a binding agreement in such a way that these are the expected payoffs. But you already solved this part. 